Are you ready for a mind-bending journey into the fractality of streams on Earth, above Earth, and in Earth? Buckle up, because things are about to get interesting. It turns out that all streams have something in common, a self-similarity that connects them in a profound way. This self-similarity is based on three most powerful streams that exist in all of them. These three streams consist of two streams in a parallel plane, and one directed stream perpendicular to them. But wait, it gets even more mind-boggling, this perpendicular stream takes on the form of a Mobius strip. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is a Mobius strip and how does it relate to streams? Well, a Mobius strip is a one-sided surface that you can create by taking a strip of paper, twisting it once, and then gluing the ends together. The result is a surface with only one side and one edge. In the case of streams, the Mobius strip takes on the form of the perpendicular stream that intersects with the parallel streams. This Mobius strip is what gives the fractality of streams its unique shape and structure. If you were to examine the perpendicular stream more closely, you would find that it is made up of two unidirectional streams that are actually two fragments of the Mobius strip. But how does all of this fit into the bigger picture? Well, it turns out that this fractality of streams is not just some abstract concept, but a real physical phenomenon that is created by changing physical parameters at the boundaries of transitions of layers of matter on Earth. This is what creates the puzzle-like assembly of streams that we see all around us. In fact, all of the world's oceanic water flows are a Mobius strip, since cold and hot flows are looped and appear in different variations. There are two main water cycles in the world ocean, the thermohaline cycle and the cycle of surface water masses. The thermohaline cycle is a complex process that involves the movement of water in the ocean, driven by differences in its temperature and salinity. Warm, less saline water rises to the surface and moves along the equator, but as it cools and becomes denser, it sinks to the ocean floor and moves along the ocean's global circulation. This process is crucial for the transport of heat and substances between different regions of the oceans and has a significant impact on our planet's climate. But that's not all, the surface water cycle is just as important, and it's driven by winds, tides, and currents. The movement of water on the surface of the ocean creates a surface layer that can affect weather patterns, climate change, and ocean ecosystems. But the fractality of streams and Mobius strips doesn't stop there, as the movement of water masses extends even into the depths of the Earth. The Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth at a staggering 11 kilometers, is a prime example of this. Here, hot water rises while cold water falls, creating a mesmerizing vertical movement of water flows. And let's not forget about the Philippine Trench, the second deepest trench on Earth, located just 250 to 300 kilometers away from the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean's western part. The movement of deep water and surface flows between these two trenches is fully reflected in the magma flows of the Earth, with two vertical flows from the mantle to the core and one vertical flow at the top of the magma. Near the core, a duplication process takes place with two vertical and one horizontal flows deep into the core. Behold the magnificent Mjobius trip that is the airspace surrounding our beloved Earth. It is home to the awe-inspiring air currents that govern our planet's climate, and weather patterns. Let us bear witness to the three mighty streams of air that course through this vast expanse. First, we have the polar jet stream, a fierce and swift current that roars at an altitude of 7 to 12 kilometers above the Earth's surface. With speeds surpassing 400 kilometers per hour, it is a force to be reckoned with. This mighty stream is born from the frigid polar temperatures and the warmer equatorial climates. Next, we have the subtropical jet stream, a subtler but no less significant current that caresses the skies of subtropical regions. Though weaker than its polar counterpart, it maintains a speed of 200 to 300 km per hour at an altitude of about 10 km above the Earth's surface. It arises from the temperature disparity between equatorial and subtropical regions. Last but certainly not least, we have the west wind drift, 
a colossal and all-encompassing current that envelops the entire planet. This formidable stream forms around the icy shores of Antarctica, propelled by the westward movement of air at an altitude of 6 to 9 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Its ferocious speed can surpass 200 kilometers per hour, making it a force to be reckoned with. In the airspace on Earth, these air currents blow at different altitudes above the Earth's surface and are formed as a result of temperature differences between regions. It's astonishing to think that the fractality of streams and Mobius strips is not limited to the surface of the Earth and oceans, but it extends deep into the Earth's crust, with many layers and fractal extensions at different depths and levels. The Earth's crust, which is only about 1% of the total volume of the Earth, houses numerous metabolic processes based on changes in temperature and pressure. It's a remarkable, and intricate system that showcases the wonders and mysteries of our planet's inner workings. Beneath our feet lies a mysterious world full of layers upon layers, each with their own unique properties and characteristics. The Earth's crust, the outermost layer, is divided into three main layers, each with their own length and location. The continental crust lies beneath our great continents, reaching a length of 30 to 50 kilometers. Beneath the oceans, the oceanic crust can be found, with a length of 5 to 10 kilometers. Just below the crust lies the upper mantle, extending to a length of about 700 kilometers. But the layers don't stop there. Beyond the upper mantle lies the lower mantle, stretching down to a length of about 2,300 kilometers. And then, the inner core, with a radius of about 1,220 kilometers, followed by the outer core with a radius of about 3,480 kilometers. It's mind-boggling to think about the vastness of these layers and the intricate processes taking place within them. The crust, although making up only about 1% of the Earth's total volume, can have wildly varying thicknesses, from less than 1 km on the ocean floor to a staggering 70 km on the highest peaks. And with each layer comes new mysteries to unravel, new discoveries to be made, and new challenges to overcome. The Earth's magnetic field is generated by the motion of molten iron in the outer core of the Earth. This magnetic field creates a magnetosphere around the Earth, which helps protect the planet from the solar wind and other cosmic rays. There are also magnetic currents that flow within the Earth's crust, which are responsible for the formation of magnetic anomalies and the movement of tectonic plates. The Earth's atmosphere is a complex system, consisting of many layers and flows at different heights from the surface. But did you know that there are also currents that exist between the Moon, and the upper layers of our atmosphere? These flows are made up of three strong shaping currents, with two running in a parallel plane, and one running perpendicular to these two. The first of these currents is the solar wind stream, a constant flow of charged particles that comes from the sun. This stream interacts with the Earth's magnetic field and creates a zone of plasma ocean around our planet known as the magnetosphere. As this flow interacts with the lunar surface, it can create electrostatic discharges that are observed on the lunar surface. The second current is the lunar tides, which are a consequence of the gravitational interaction between the Earth and the Moon. This causes two tidal humps on the Earth that move with the rotation of the planet. It also causes forces that act on the Moon, making it wobble slightly. Finally, there are the lunar electrostatic flows, which are electric fields that arise on the lunar surface as a result of its interaction with charged particles from the solar wind. This can cause charged particles to move across the lunar surface and create electrostatic discharges. The fractality of streams and Mobius strips, even extends beyond Earth and into space. The Sun's magnetic field is an example of this phenomenon. The Sun's magnetic field lines twist and loop, creating a Mobius strip-like structure that is responsible for many solar phenomena, such as sunspots, flares, and coronal mass ejections. The magnetic field of the Earth also has a Mobius strip-like structure, which protects us from the solar wind and cosmic radiation. But the fractality of streams and Mobius strips is not just limited to celestial bodies. It can also be found in the structure of galaxies. 
Spiral galaxies, like our own Milky Way, have a Mobius strip-like structure that creates a spiral arm pattern. This pattern is formed by the movement of stars and gas as they rotate around the galaxy's center. It's truly remarkable to think that the same self-similarity that connects streams on Earth can also be found on a galactic scale. When a solenoid, a coil of wire, is wound around a cylindrical core and then given a half-twist to form a Mobius strip, the magnetic field lines run parallel to the surface and form a continuous loop that runs the length of the strip, perpendicular to the edge. This creates a unique and interesting pattern of magnetic field lines showcasing the fact that even the minute magnetic field distribution shows the same pattern. All these observations mentioned are theoretically described and displayed in the Stone Theory, which provides a new perspective on the physical processes in the universe and is supported by theoretical descriptions and practical examples collected for confirmation and refinement by followers of the theory. Thanks for watching. Please do like share and subscribe.